Hey everyone, this is Pastor Anthony Nix coming at you with another weekly devotional, Anderson's Seventh-day Adventist Church. We're going to change gears a little bit. We've been doing a series on the Blueprint God's GPS, and you can definitely still get that and study it. But we're changing gears. We're done with it. And we're just going to talk about some Bible scriptures each week. So if you like it, share it. If you need to comment or prayer request or you have a question, you can always do that. Let's dive in. Romans chapter 15 verse 4 says, For whatever things were written before were written for our learning that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. When people think of religion, there can be sometimes uh, a pressure to put on a facade of perfection. We fall into the mindset that Christianity is about being on your best behavior. But on the contrary, the Bible is written in a unique way. The scripture depicts real lives with real struggles. And as we read through the scriptures, we find that the heroes of the faith, in quotes, experience sin, have character flaws, and fall short of God's idea for their lives. The Bible is not like that. It's not like other biographies that try to shine a good light on its subject. The Bible describes some very embarrassing things It's authentic in the way it records human faults. Apologists will often point to this reality when defending scripture. It doesn't gloss over truth, nor does it exclude the sins of of its chief characters. I'm convinced that if the Bible would have been written by uninspired writers, we would see a more polished view of its subjects. As you read its stories and you come in contact with scriptures, you will see your frailties and the lives of the people you read about. We learn from their mistakes. Our despondent hearts find hope that Jesus can do the same awesome work of transformation in us that he did in the lives of the biblical patriarchs. When we read scripture, we can find God's grace, both saving and keeping power, and parting vigor to rise above our evil nature and eventually with his help, we can live the experience we find in 2 Peter 1, 3-4. It says, As His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Folks, we have promises in the Bible. God has promised that he is going to put his character, his Christ-likeness in us. And we have hope knowing that as people in the Bible who were sinful, God transforms them. We can also be transformed by the power of Jesus Christ living in us. And that all comes through the promises of scripture. Friends, stay in the Bible. Keep reading it. And you'll see how God is going to bless you. God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you next week.